These straw bale potatoes, which I planted four months ago now, in the beginning of the Tasmanian winter in June, have grown really well and it's now time to harvest them. Now I'm really itching to get in there and see what there is because this is the first time that I've grown potatoes in straw bale and especially the first time that I've grown them over winter in the greenhouse here. Now there's been a bit of grass growing in these bales. Some of the bales from the paddock that I got them from obviously had a lot of grass and some wheat germination. In the tomatoes here behind me you'll see how the some bales have grass growing and others don't and they come from different paddocks so much better of course without the germination without so much weed and grass in the bales. Let's pull these apart and see what's in here. I will cut the strings. Unlike digging potatoes in the ground, I should be able to do this harvesting with my hands, just pulling the bale apart. And there's a potato. Not a big one, mind you, but it's a potato. This is just a matter of searching through and finding what's... Now this is really nice to be able to get potatoes this time of the year because we have our run out of potatoes and there's another one. These will be the first potatoes of the spring. That's all for that plant. Now I'll bite you in a bit closer here so you can see the process. And see what the result. Not big, a bit small. But really I suppose over winter I wasn't expecting very large potatoes. They grew quite well the plants. Don't see any more in that. This plant was an especially good one in here. This will be really nice compost on this bed. The next crop that will go in this bed is some sweet potatoes. Totally different plant of course. Even if it's still a root crop. I don't see any more. Okay, this is the last plant for this bed. Now the first one has some green on. The sun's been getting down through the bale there. Put that one aside. What else? Again, some green, a bit close to the surface. Okay, not a lot of potatoes there though. So here, mixed with a bit of straw, is the product from the first bale. Realistically, that's not a, a great crop of potatoes from one bale. Uh, I'll pull the rest apart and we'll see what we get from the whole lot. Well here's the final crop, only half a bucket. It's a pretty poor result for this area and the number that was planted. There is a lot of small potatoes. There is, the, most of these are Dutch creams and they've got a lot of small ones. There's a couple of plants that were kestrels, these coloured ones, and those plants did better really. And some nice looking potatoes on those. but. Yeah, look, it's a fairly poor result. I will try growing potatoes again over winter in here 
uh, but I probably will try a different method next winter. It's interesting to see the interior of these straw bales. This is what it's like inside. You can see how it's composting in there and there are worms getting into it but it still has quite a bit of breaking down to do and it's probably the case that the potatoes simply couldn't get enough nutrition out of them in the cooler weather. The outside of the bale is still very dry and biscuity. I will collect most of that uh, and put on the top of the compost heap leaving the more composted material here and plant sweet potatoes into it. So while it's not a good result, at this time of the year when new potatoes are going for $3 and more a kilo, this is still appreciated to get a, a small taste of potatoes.